Kong. On some maps, you can really make life difficult for the enemy by playing the Ferdinand. This tank destroyer has a powerful gun and a very good reload time. However, Germany 6.7 also has some other strong tanks like the Tiger 2H or the Yak Tiger, and you might want to think twice about which tank you spawn. So let's take a look at the Ferdinand and see how we can play it to its full potential. Welcome to my new video. Before we jump into my tips on how I recommend to play this vehicle, let's have a look at the advantages and disadvantages of the Ferdinand. The Ferdinand has a strong gun for 6.7. It comes with the 88mm gun that can penetrate up to 237mm. With the APCBC shell that has an explosive filling you should not struggle around this BR. The reload speed with up to 6.7 seconds is also really good. This is practical if you want to minimize the exposure time, because you don't have to aim precisely and the first shot doesn't have to take out the enemy immediately. You can also miss a shot when you play from further away. Now let's have a look at the mobility. Up to 30 km per hour forward speed is not that good for this BR, but the reverse speed is great, because you also have 30 km per hour to back up into solid cover again, and this is what you want to use to your advantage. The armor of this tank destroyer is actually good. Every gun that can't pan armor over 200 mm will struggle to damage the Ferdinand from the front. Only the small edges of the Ferdinand at the lower front plate can be a weak spot, since they are slightly angled. However, I can't recommend to brawl in close combat with this tank, because even in a down tier there are a good amount of hostile guns that can penetrate your armor. I have never had a good match, playing this tank as a bullet sponge. The side armor is not worth mentioning, and since you are in a casemate tank, any enemies will easily flank you and bypass your frontal armor in close combat. Two more advantages are worth mentioning. This tank destroyer has six crew members and this can give you the extra edge in some situations. High explosive shells can't really overpressure you, because a hit on the upper front will only damage the engine. Now let's talk about the disadvantages. Turning on the spot is not a strong point of the 13 end. It takes some time to aim at the target. The greater the distance to the enemy, the less you have to turn your hull to bring your weapon into position. If you have to correct your aim often, and reposition the tank, the gun can be a bit of a pain to handle. Since it is a casemate tank you can't turn your turret, and the gun wobbles when you come to a standstill. Again, a position in the distance may be a better choice than playing the Ferdinand on the front line. You don't have any machine gun. This is a huge disadvantage, since you will face a ton of American close air support at that BR, and you can't defend yourself. And you also don't have smoke grenades or smoke shells to cover your position. Now that we know all of the pros and cons, we can have a look at my tips. Tip number 1. Play it like a casemate tank. The casemate tank is a vehicle without a turret that can be turned. Most of the time casemate tanks are tank destroyers that have a heavier, more powerful gun end or a better armor protection. When you can't get the aim on the target within the limited gun traverse range you have to turn the whole vehicle to aim. This results in a special playstyle. Staying put in the back of the map may be a possible way to play a casemate tank and on some maps you can use this. Because of all the advantages and disadvantages of the Ferdinand tank destroyer, I recommend to play it as a sniper. I had better matches as I used the Ferdinand from further away. Search for a nice spot on the map where you can oversee a wide area and where you will encounter a good amount of enemies. Use a position where you can go hull down and back up fast if needed. When you keep some distance to the enemy and stay hull down, you make it more difficult for them to hit you. In addition, you are faster behind solid cover again after firing. The greater the distance to the enemy, the less you have to turn your hull to adjust your aim. The Ferdinand is not that good in turning on the spot. When an enemy with a stronger gun knows where you are, you can also use the mobility to relocate. This can give you the extra seconds you need to attack the enemy from a slightly different angle. Tip number 2. Draw from the third row in down tiers. In down tiers you have the armor to focus the attention on you, but you still want to make sure that the map provides a wide open area you can oversee. As a casemate tank with a poor turn speed on the spot, you can't really react to flanking enemies and this is why you want to stay further away. However, when you are with teammates and the enemy in front of you has a weak gun, you can stay out in the open and use your armor. The 76mm guns of the American tanks and the 85mm guns of the Russian tanks are usually no match for you. Use the distance to your advantage and your fast reload speed. Enemies will have some difficulties to aim at you, while you can just point and click at them. The 88mm gun works fine in a down tier. But remember that even at 6.7 there are still stronger enemies. Tip number 3. Pick the right tank. Some maps are just not designed for the Ferdinand, especially when you have a full up tier and you face more and more better armored vehicles. On some maps, especially town maps, you can't find a position where you can oversee a wide area, go hull down and have a backup route. Playing the Ferdinand from the third row occasionally worked, but it always felt stressful and like a full time job to make it work. 
or when you go to a more remote and safe spot, you only encounter a few hostile tanks. Don't get me wrong, you can play it on any map, but you have other tanks in your 6.7 lineup that might be better suited for some maps. Here are some additional tips. Take some high explosive shells with you. You have no machine gun. To take out squishy tanks or open top vehicles, you can switch to high explosive shells. You should have no problems with the good reloading speed. Aiming and shooting with binoculars. More than often there will be foliage in your way since you can't mow it down with your machine gun. However, you can use your binoculars to aim and shoot. Your strong gun helps in this situation. Use the binoculars to aim on the target. You can adjust the height slightly if needed. Hold down the fire button and switch to the gunner's perspective. Doing so you will fire immediately and profit. I hope I was able to give you some tips on how to play this tank and you can enjoy playing it. Like, subscribe and leave a comment if you want to and check out my Discord server for more information and to connect with other players. Hope to see you in game soon.